Dr. Sella here, and based on Army, Navy, and Air Force's data, concepts dictate the formation. So what happens is when they run a concept, they're automatically in a specific formation based on the concept. Here's what happened in 2020, Army, Navy, and Air Force. Anytime they wanted to run a triple option, they were in the spread formation. They split the receivers out wide. It was 90 if I, I don't have the exact number, but it's over 95% of the time. They had a receiver split out wide. Always keep this in mind about Army, Navy, Air Force. If they believe the ball is going to get pitched or tossed and end up on the perimeter, they're always going to have a receiver split out to that side because they feel that that's necessary to cancel the deep defender. So they're in spread for triple and mid-triple. That's what they did in 2020. Now... When they ran zone dive, most of the time they're in a three-man surface, especially Army and Air Force. And because the reason why is because they have the third guy in the surface, whether they're in flex or heavy, they have a receiver, the heavy tackle there to wall off the nearest inside backer. Because if it's a two inside backer defense, they can't get to that player, which is known as the fold player, and then he can fold back inside on the dive. And maybe now you get three or four instead of, you know, a 12, 15 plus yard gain. So three man surface for flex and heavy. I don't have the exact percentage, but it was the super majority of the time. Now, anytime they ran kick, most of the time they're in flex because it's balanced. You have the receiver to the side and because it's not a perimeter play, they don't need the receiver out there. So this way the receiver crushes the guy who's in the C gap and they kick the guy outside the receiver and the quarterback runs in between those two blocks while the A-back loads it. So flex for kick was the majority of the time, all three of them. Zone option, it was heavy. The reason is because there's a threat that the ball could get pitched. So they put the receiver out there to block the deep defender. So if there was a safety here, he and the A-back would switch. He, t- he kicks the corner, he's got the receiver. But anytime the play has a chance to be in the D gap, they have a receiver split out there. Very important, but they need a third guy in the surface on zone option to build a wall in the C gap to make the defense pay for it in the D gap. Rocket toss is the same thing. Most of the time, they ran rocket toss out of heavy. You will see them at times try to run it out of spread. It's usually not as effective. Because you need the third guy in the surface to build a wall in the C gap. Regardless, if you're worried about predictability, who cares? Who cares? Army, Navy, and Air Force, they don't care if they're predictable. Why should you, happy Harry high school coach? Don't worry about it. All you got to worry about is getting your kids to execute it. I get asked this question all the time. If Kenny Amatololo makes 2.3, Munkin makes about 2.5, and Troy Calhoun is making 2-something, and they don't care, why would you? I've got clients making $3,200 coaching high school football. Why should you care? Just do it and be elite and beat everybody in 2021. And if you want to win more games in 2021, call me, 570-332. 0265 and go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials. You'll see winners like Tyrone Oklahoma who just won the state championship later.